want to say first of all, congratulations to all of you. Thank first you. film for ADD, that's a big deal. It is a big deal for me. I mean, the dream is to empower a lot of young creative people, let them do their thing, get out their way as much as I can, mm -hmm. give whatever advice I can, and at the same time, you know, it, it's a it's a hole in Hollywood. It's a white space that's so big you can drive a truck through. There's too many talented young people of color, whether they be black, or Latino, or Asian, whatever. It's like they just and even white town that speaks a cultural language that Hollywood doesn't understand. Yeah. You know, so there's really a hole in the market and and this guy and his and his friend significant, whatever. <laughs> they don't like to talk about it, but whatever they are, yeah. they really fill the hole. So tell me, how did that major deal itself uh, come to fruition? Like, oh, what's the backstory? Okay. I had an idea and said that I wanted to make a movie. I felt like I wasn't going to get the opportunities that I, I sh should in Hollywood. So I told Kevin Fredericks that I wanted to make a movie. He said about what? He said about a rapper who's not good as he think he is. He's having all his problems with his baby mom and all that. And at the end, he prevails in some kind of form or fashion. He's like, I'll start making a script. And he starts, I'm thinking he's playing, and then I'm thinking maybe he will. This nigga is brilliant. Yeah. And two weeks later, he, Kevin was like, I got a rough trap. I started the script. I have it done after I get off this flight. Okay. And then four days later, he has it done. He sends it to me, and I'm like, this is gold. Yeah. We got to come yeah. to yeah. people, and we got to make this, and we got to bring it to all diff. And we brought it to all diff, thinking they would say, ah, it's cool, but you know, we don't know if we want to take that financial leap. Mm -hmm. But all diff was like, let's do it. Yeah, Russell, I feel like, you know, here at All That Digital, um, Russell, he has a vision, and he, like he said, he really wants to give people opportunities that he knows has great talent, like, that are very talented, but may not be giving the opportunities that they should be getting, so, you know, the projects that we make, this is our family, it's like, why not keep it in-house, why not keep it with our family, make a project like this that's big, it's going to be big for all of us, for some people who really believe in us. I will say one thing I, I admire about the both of you is that you create your own content, you know, on platforms that, you know, some people may not see that vision. And for you guys to, you know, take that step forward and fill that void that uh, Russell was talking about, I think that's amazing. So kudos to you guys. Um, I will, I did want to ask though, you know, coming from 15 second videos and, you know, I know you have a background in, in film, but you, Karan, um, you know, having uh, the 15 second videos and now transitioning into full length films. What was that transition like for you? This nigga is. <laughs> so, let me tell you something. I'm really saying. Right. He is so talented. Like, yeah. a lot of actors just can bring it because bring it, yeah. it's in them and they have the spirit for it. If you watched the, the sketch, uh, which the one when I realized that this guy is fucking brilliant, was I watched Training Day. If you go on right now on All Depth Digital and you watch Training Day, you're like, all the emotion that came out of him, and all the different sides that came out of him, and you know, it was all tongue in cheek, so even while he was playing this dramatic, over the top role, he always had you crying, laughing, you know, it was brilliant. And that, that's a subtle quality that, you know, the stars of the biggest movies in Hollywood don't have. So he's, it was nothing for him, because he, he just has it, it's in it. I do want to talk a little bit about your characters. You play Maya Van, and of course, uh, Mike Massacre, yeah. and uh, you play his, his baby mama, Tina. Yeah. Um, how relative, uh, I know you don't have any children. No, I don't. Okay, what was that like, you know, playing that role? I mean, I think I channeled a lot of people I know, people I've seen. Um, no, I'm not a, a, you know, baby mother, or I, and I don't have any children. But what I do understand is a woman trying to do anything by any means necessary to take care of her child and feeling like she has no help. So I feel like, you know, Tina may come off as a bitch and you guys may hate her in the film, but if you really like really focus in it and really look into it, you can kind of see where someone who might not have the experience or education may handle the situation with her um, child's father like this. Okay. There's a subtle quality to her performance that you see everything she's talking about. In other yeah. words, this idea that she's just such a bitch and all that, she's like, this nigga really is a failure, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's hard to be able to envision in him a rapper because he's, he's not a great rapper. I mean, I won't tell you the whole movie, but he's not a great rapper. You know, the best thing that could come out of him was the honesty. Yeah. And the honesty was, uh, should I tell that? No, no, no. No, exactly. well, he wrote a great song because okay. it was honest, but even the whole trial and error, you know, it's hard for her to have envisioned in him this greatness that came out eventually. So for her to be a little angry and whatever, it was understandable. So it's a subtle thing. As much as she's tough, she's tough for a reason because she got a kid to feed and this 
<laughs> Guy ain't really doing the right thing. Yeah, want to know in the film you play a rapper with no bars. Do you got real bars in real life? No, no, actually I don't. Oh, okay. but I'm so happy you said that. By the way. I just thought you were gonna say you did. Yeah. I just was. Think out about. No, I feel so much better. I have no bars. bars. I have no bars. I wrote all of them. I know you're Jordan and Will Smith uh -huh. and all that, but I was wondering if you I am Will Smith. That's why I say that's why I say I'm Will Smith. You uh -huh. rap the same. No, Will can rap. I signed Will. Will okay. is a hot rapper. I mean, he okay. was hot back. Back, 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 back before people started rapping. Oh. <laughs> Here comes the Men in Black was not a bank. No, but that's different. That's Wild, different. Wild, Wild, Wild West was not a bank. Uh -huh. Oh, Wild 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 it is not nonsensical because it honestly does speak to a certain uh, state of mind with a henny dick. <laughs> this is a song, Henny Dick. You're like, this song is kind of like, you know, I used to I used to call it cocaine dick or uh, whiskey dick, okay. but henny dick. You know, I get it. You go home and you can't, and the way he sang it, and the way the whole, he wrote the whole thing, it's kind of a hit so, record almost. So I can it sign the MJ back in the day? No, not today or never, but <laughs> yeah, kill yourself if you got to do <laughs> Just wanted to know, you know, what, what are people going to take away after seeing this film? Major deal. What are they going to go home with? To always believe in your dreams no matter what people tell you. It doesn't matter, excuse me, it doesn't matter if um, people say you suck at rapping, if people tell you you're not going to be able to make A's in college to go to, the, to get your doctor's degree. It doesn't matter if uh, people say you won't be a great journalist. It doesn't matter. Just Follow your dreams, and if you feel like you got the vision and you see it and you know the impact, it doesn't matter what nobody thinks. You know, what's next for um, ADD? For all this oh, this, this is a breakthrough for us. You know, okay. we wanted to do this for a long time. We found the right piece. We found the right stars. We did a great job at it. And I think a lot of young, talented people who deserve and scripts that we have that we're looking at, and we want to do more. He's got another story right now that I think is fantastic. And so we want to do a lot more of these, but we also want to expound on ADD, do social justice, we want to do a whole social, we don't see anybody really protecting the community properly with these kind of eyeballs, they're not speaking to them properly. And then we also have a music portal we're launching. So we're trying to make ADD a real place for people to express themselves. The Walmart entertainment. We got everything. Love it. Okay.